Now, this last example is a combination of the two. So now we're taking the cube root of 16, and we're taking the cube root of x to the 8. So again, our main thinking, all right, the main thinking that we want to do is rewrite them so they have the identity element. So is 16 a cube number? When I looked at my cube numbers, is 16 a cube number? It is a square number, but we need to only deal with cube numbers, right? So since 16 is not a cube number, it's a square number, is there a cube number, though, that divides into 16? 8. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite this as the cube root of 8 times 2. Then um, could I, would it be OK to rewrite x to the 8th? Well, if I can only rewrite this as x to the cubed, I'm going to do only, I'm going to do the power rule first, and then I'll show you guys even a simpler way to do this. This can be written as x cubed. Now, you could do x to the fifth, right? That would work, correct? That gives you x to the eighth, right? Because you add the powers based on the rules of exponents. However, could I do another x cubed in there? Yeah. So that's x to the sixth. So therefore, I need to multiply this by x squared. Correct? So um, this 8 can be rewritten as um, 2 cubed. So I really have cube root of 2 cubed times 2 times x cubed times x cubed times x squared. Well, what's the cube root of 2 cubed? 2. What's the cube root of x cubed? x. What's the cube root of x cubed? x. And then I'm left with a 2x squared. And then x times x is what? So that is your final answer right there. That is by using the product rule. Um, for those of you that would like to use a shorter method, we could.